What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Jay Isaiah. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Izzy Squad. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And if you are returning, you know I love you from the bottom of my heart. You the realist, but make sure you have them post notifications on, okay? We all play. I filmed this video about, I want to say a month and a half or two months ago when I first started with WeSearch Beauty. I was a featured creator and I was just creating for WeSearch, but now I'm a core team member, so I work for them. And it has been an amazing experience thus far. If you haven't checked out WeSearch Beauty yet, please go to www.wesearch.com, create an a We For Me account, and then start finding makeup that works for you. Because honey, We've all gone through the stages where we use a foundation that doesn't work for us, that dries out our skin. But if you put your preferences in, it does it for you, okay? Anyway, so this video is called Back of My Makeup Drawer. So it's all of the products that you really don't use anymore. So maybe you bought a highlighter and then you put it on your skin and you was like, no honey, I don't want to glow that bad, okay? <laughs> or you got a foundation and you thought it was going to be hydrating and it was not. Or it could have just been a really bad product, really bad formula, really bad shadows, any of those things. Those go in the back of your makeup drawer because you don't use them anymore. Because I already filmed this, I do look a little bit different, like uh, you guys already know my weight loss journey or whatnot. But in this video, I am a little bit bigger, you know, but it's all good. But let's roll to the clip. The first item on my back of my makeup drawer list, that's going to get a lot to say, of the BB, uh, B B O M. MD back of my makeup drawer B O M M D there you go B O M M D got it so the first item in my B O M M D is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the color cocoa so I don't want to give Wet n Wild a bad name because a lot of the products in this broadcast are from Wet n Wild and that's because when I first started doing makeup, I wanted to do a full face using one brand. Of course, I wasn't passionate about makeup yet so I didn't want to spend a ton of money so I bought all Wet n Wild products. This literally looks like chalk on my skin. Um, I don't know what the formula is, I don't know if it's because I wasn't prepping right. There's a lot of variables that could give this some grace. but. I'm gonna give it a trash bag. The next product, and I wanted to love this product because I can't find a bronzer for my skin tone. If you know one, put it in the comments below, please. It is the Pop Beauty Prismatic Pop Illuminating Powder Bronze Boom. It sounds like it's a great product. I can't even open this right now because literally when it says Bronze Boom, it literally exploded in the packaging. It's literally all powder when it was like a cute little dome at first. It's supposed to be a bronzer. It has like a pink undertone to it, which I didn't understand. I think that was making it like the prismatic, like the metallic look. So it's kind of like a shimmery bronzer, which I'm not too fond of because why would you want to highlight your texture everywhere on your face. If I want to be a bronze god and put this all over my face, I'm actually going to be a textured pink queen. So, we're gonna have to do without this one. My next BOMMD product is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. So, if you guys know me by now, I am an eyeshadow fanatic. That is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I mean, I love it. This was supposed to make my eyeshadows pop. You promised that you would make my eyeshadows pop and that you would make them blend out nicely and all you did was not do that. It made my eyeshadows patchy. It um, did not help them blend. It, I, I don't, I honestly don't know. I used it two times and both times my eyeshadow looks looked like trash and I was like, no, 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 Milani. Back to the back of the makeup drawer. My next item is the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. So I'm pretty sure that this product works well. Uh, it's just not in my shade. As I talked about in my Holy Grail video, if you haven't seen that, check it out. Contour shades are really difficult for me to find with a deeper skin complexion, and I'm not the deepest color. When I got this, I thought the highlighting shade was a little too light, like it's almost like a milk light sand color. And then the contour shade was... Oh, now that I'm looking at this, this is definitely peach and not brown. So. This one is at the back of my makeup drawer because of my fault. I bought the wrong contour stick. I really thought this was brown. This is definitely peach. The next item is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow 
individuals. I like creative looks and I'm always looking for like really bold colors, really creamy colors. And I saw this one which was too cool, which was like a really, really deep, milky, velvety white. So I thought that was super dope. And this one was inked in pink, which had the similar velvety tone, but it was like a light baby pink. These literally ruined an eyeshadow look that I was working on for like 45 minutes, like on, like not each eye, between both eyes, 45 minutes. Then I popped this on as my lid color, and when I tell you blending nightmare, the product got stuck in the brush, started clumping in the brush, it started to get this weird film, then it picked up shadow from like my crease, and then it started to get real muddy and dirty. No, 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 no. I think I more so put these in the back of my makeup drawer because of it ruining a 45 minute eyeshadow look, but I may try to use them again somewhere else on my face since I do like creative looks, but not for the lids. I mean, it says eyeshadow on it and it did shade me, so. So the last two products I have in the back of my makeup drawer are from Wet n Wild again, and I'm sure Wet n Wild is a great brand. I've seen full face tutorials on YouTube and they've been amazing. It just does not mesh well for me. So the first product is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder in the shade Matte About You. When I tell you, like literally, where's the product? Like, you have to dig deep to get any product on your finger and then it chips away like kind of like dandruff so it feels like chalk it kind of looks like chalk i i i just not feeling it i try to put it on my face immediate flashback i look like an ashy ghost i look like casper's best friend i looked like milk i looked like <laughs> pebbles on a white sand beach girl i was ghostly ghastly shook shaking trembling no 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 no, no, no. The other product is the Wet n Wild Finny Matte Finishing Spray. So I figured why not get the finishing spray with the powder? <sighs> Literally made the powder clump into little beads. Maybe they're not supposed to go together. I don't know why a brand would make two products within the same line that don't go together, but that's just me. Um, I'm gonna stick to my Scandinavia setting spray and definitely stick to that. Back of the makeup drawer! Oh, child. Welcome back! Why am I so extra? So you saw the back of my makeup drawer items. I'm pretty sure I have a lot more now. Actually, not really a lot more. I've been really picking out my products um, strategically because I'm trying to save money, I'm trying to save time, and I'm trying to save the environment. That's what we search is for, you know? If you have any items that are literally in the back of your makeup drawer, please comment them below. I, I wanna see what kind of products um, people buy and then they realize that they're just not for them. But please put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you next Sunday.